G'day everyone and welcome to this month's update from the Australian Cotton Shippers Association and welcome to the beautiful Sydney Harbour. The Australian Cotton Shippers Association board met this month and I took the opportunity to talk to them about why Australian cotton is so highly regarded on the world market, what are some of those intrinsic values that our customers are really looking for and what sets Australian cotton up as different on the world market compared to other growths. So let's go and have a chat to some people and see what they've got to say. So when we talk to our spinning mill customers, we like to talk about the complete package and what that consists of is superior quality characteristics, logistical advantages, um, and price competitiveness. 90 to 95% of our cotton is a middling color grade or better generally. Our staple lengths are 37, with predominantly 38, 39 and 40 staples. And our strength is 30 to 32 and beyond. We have the highest yielding crops in the world consistently year in, year out. That means that our growers are able to produce a superior product. It's available, it's accessible to spinning mills throughout the world at a competitive price. It's got a good Micronair range and it's reliable. And hey, to most of Asia, it's only two weeks shipping time. Consistently, Aussie cotton has been of high quality and uh, consistent spinability. So I think the customers who've used Australian cotton know that every bale is spinnable. We're quite consistent in our in our grade, our length, Micronair and strength, which is continuing to improve. I think that the quality really sets us apart. Um, you know, Australian growers are some of the best in the world uh, when it comes to consistency. The contamination-free nature. And then on top of that, we've got these great sustainability credentials that are starting to be asked for more and more by the brands and retailers. Um, we've got very high speed gins, so the industry's pumping out 40,000 bales a day. We can ship it through Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne ports, we've got lots of exit points. Australia's all HD bales, it slots nicely into a container, and the reason why it's efficient is because we've got the classing data when it comes into the warehouse. So by having the classing data, you know what you're going to ship, you can apply it straight to the sales. A couple of reasons, one is obvious, is just purely location. You know, we're here and they're there. It's also most of our growing is not that far away from a major port. We can move a bale from a gin and have it, you know, in a port in Asia, you know, in two weeks if we need to. We don't have bales sitting on gin pads for a long period of time. They move through warehouses rather quickly. We have good highway access. We have good rail access to ports. We don't have much government or regulatory involvement. and. And I think because we have that framework, it allows businesses to really seek efficiencies. It's not if you know if you've got a subsidised, you know, industry as we see in other parts of the world. What tends to sort of happen is it you know it breeds a little bit of inefficiency within the system. Well, when we talk about consumers, specifically for merchants, we're talking about spinning mills. So they have, uh, you know, they're, they're in the middle of the supply chain, so they're looking for quality and they're looking for price. There's a macroeconomic impact that, that always hits textiles as well. Retailers are really, and brand owners, are really wanting to better understand their supply chain. They're also interested in, you know, sustainability metrics. I think really as it stands today, the price is the cheapest I've seen it. So any mills listening that do buy on call, now's the time to be asking your merchants. The other message is that I believe the crop's still only partially sold. So you can still get April shipments, May shipments, June shipments. Yeah, I think it's gonna be, you know, close to 5 million bales again. So that, that should really keep the growers happy and plenty of cotton for all the merchants, really. It looks great you now. I was out in the, in the field uh, just last week, uh, opened up the crops, huge bowl load, you know, looking really good at the moment. So yeah, hopefully we can just get it off over the next few months. It's, uh, it looks great. Obviously large drying plant as well. Uh, that's looking pretty good. It's got sufficient rainfall. Just buy Australian cotton. You don't need anything else. It's simple, you'll have no problem. Okay, and that's what it's all about. Providing the right thing at the right time for the right price. So there you go. We've heard from a range of people about what they see as the competitive advantage for Australian cotton. We've done a number of in-market visits in the last two years, 
And what we hear from our customers is they really value Australian cotton for a range of reasons. Superior quality, consistent quality, reliable suppliers, really great logistics and sustainability options that really give them the options that they need in their spinning mill business. We've got a great crop in 2024, quality's looking really good as well. So I'd encourage you to talk to your merchant about securing Australian cotton for your business. Thanks so much and all the best for the year ahead.